has a story to tell. The story of a war on drugs the Philippine government fought over the past six years. Officially, some 6,200 people were killed by police for dealing with drugs. The true toll is nearly certainly much bigger. And the x-ray showed two bullets with the remains, okay? Examining the remains of some of the people who died, forensic pathologist Raquel Fortun made a shocking discovery. In seven cases out of 47, the death certificates were false. They listed a natural cause of death when people had actually been shot. The Philippines' procedures for investigating death, says the 60-year-old, have always been flawed. But here comes Duterte as president in 2016, and he simply took advantage of it. It's been happening before, but in 2016, the killings actually escalated. And right now, it's not safe to actually walk around because somebody can just shoot you. Many families in the Philippines have experienced this kind of scenario. Hitmen approaching at night to shoot a loved one. Then evidence of drug abuse is planted, says Grace. She lost her father and brother six years ago. The mother of three now hopes that Dr. Fortune will shed more light on what actually happened. The civilian planted my father a uh, gun, uh, two pieces of drug sachet, and money. That's why if you have a gun, is pipe back. That's the reason the, my father killed, because it's pipe back. The poor were the primary victims of the war on drugs. The International Criminal Court estimates that up to 30,000 people, more than four times the official number, were killed on former President Duterte's watch. Many relatives now want to set the record straight. This Catholic priest is doing his part to support them. Referent Flaviano Villanueva pays for the exhumations and for legal advice. He fears that the killings, even with Duterte gone, are far from over. In the past two weeks, we have counted at least eight or nine killings to this very present day. My point, there's no difference between back then and today. To make matters worse, I believe that the culture of killing has not only been ingrained, but it has also become, sadly, an organized enterprise. Dr. Fortune is convinced that the true toll of the war on drugs will never come to light. Too many of those who lost their lives remain unidentified and unclaimed. But she hopes that her discoveries will bring a semblance of justice to the families who remain behind.